Hi everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap and today we're going to be making a natural sea sponge soap and I got them from Amazon. The links will be below in the description if you're interested. Um, this one comes already cut up and I have this mold. Uh, each cavity holds uh, three ounces. And I didn't want to make it much bigger than that because once you start using this sponge, not when you make it, but once you start using it in the shower, it should be replaced in 30 days. So if I made it too big, I was worried the soap would last longer than that. So what we're gonna do is I made it uh, just a three ouncer and then we're gonna put the sea, uh, the sea sponge into it. And this comes in different sizes. And what you wanna do is, the idea is, is this gonna fit into the molds like so, and you're gonna have a little bit poking out. You do want that to happen. Um, when you pour, this will soak up, because it's a sponge, your soap. So what we're gonna do is we don't wanna pour too hot as usual, and we're gonna be doing um, my old swirl technique, which I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna be using Blue Lagoon from Stardust Mica. I really do like this color. It's more like a, a mermaid type color. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna melt some shea butter, melt and pour, and then we'll get started. Okay, so our shea butter is at about 135 right now, and I want that to cool down a little bit more. I'm using Brambleberries Cucumber Melon today. Um, what I did notice is some of these sponges that came in here are, some are smaller than others. So I, you want the sponge to actually come out of the cavity because you wouldn't want someone to forget that there's a sponge in there, start washing and wonder what's starting to protrude. Um, so if you want, um, if you have two small ones, what I would do is that you could just put them in together like so. You can also get bigger sponges and cut them down to size to however you like it. Um, so I've read articles where, you know, once these are used, you know, they should be probably thrown out after 30 days. There's other articles that say that you can use them for up to three to six months after you make them and put them in soap. So it's really up to you. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more conservative. Um, I'm going to be sending these to my parents. Um, and so I'm going to just be making them in the three ounces. I'm not sure how, I've never used this mold before, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to handle once we unmold it into the hand, and we will, we will show you that. Um, this is at 135. I'm going to be mixing my colorant in distilled water, and the reason for this is I kind of want there to be um, a contrast in the color. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I have a little bit of distilled water, not much. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my Stardust Mica. And I'm gonna put a little bit of colorant in just like that. And the reason I'm not using alcohol is because once you squirt it with alcohol and you pour it into your melt and pour, it really disperses and there's really no way to get any kind of swirl. And I'm able to do it when I do it a lot. And I haven't done it in a while, so something tells me I better start doing them more so that we can um, get better at it. The one thing is when you're mixing these colorants with distilled water versus alcohol, it's going to take longer for the soap to set. Because the alcohol, when you use alcohol, um, just kind of evaporates. This has water in it, so it's a little bit more... Uh, for to set than just the alcohol. So expect your set time to take just a little bit longer, not much longer. Um, just be aware of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. The trick is going to be we are going to um, uh, pipe about two mLs. This is a three mL pipette. We're gonna squirt it down. We're gonna use our flat whisk, okay, our flat coil whisk, which just once down and up, and then we're gonna pour. I don't know how that's gonna act because these are sponges and it will absorb, so I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to see the color change, but it's still gonna be a really nice soap and it's gonna smell really good. So let's let this cool down a little bit and we'll be right back. Okay, so currently we're at 119. If you don't have a thermal gun like this, what I would suggest you do is um, you can take a chopstick or a skewer or tongue blade, whatever, and you can actually feel it getting thicker. Or you might even see a skin start to form. So right at that point is a good time to pour. So what I've done is we have our distilled water in our, it's Ariel Blue, mixed. We're gonna go ahead. We will pull up. 
with our, our pipette, about two mLs, squirt it in hard. I'll squirt these down before I forget. Make sure you have part of the sponge sticking out there. Now we're going to use our coiled whisk down once and up. And then we're just going to pour. Okay, and then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Looks like we're going to have just enough. So the sponges soak up a pretty good amount of the soap, which is good to know. So if these are three ounces, I might actually even go a little bit more because if you can understand this, it's going to soak it up and it's going to be in the sponge, even up above the sponge. We're going to leave it like this. I'm not going to add any more to it. I'm going to squirt it with alcohol, a real light spurt. We're going to go ahead and let these mold and then we'll pull them out and see what they look like. Okay guys, so we're back. And so what I wanted to let you know, the first thing I've noticed um, by doing the swirl with distilled water, and I, I let you know that it would take longer for it to harden, and it did, it, it did. It took probably about another hour, an extra hour. You can probably rush that through by sticking it in the freezer, but I kind of just want to see how much longer it was going to take. Um, I'm not going to use gloves on these because I'm going to keep these and um or send them to my mom and she doesn't care <laughs> if i wear gloves or not so i'm going to unmold them and we're going to see if this worked out the sponge is soft up top and it's very hard here where the soap is poured on top of it and again i've never used this mold before so it looks really nice smells great there's a little bit of a swirl, so you can see it's actually kind of nice. The coloring is really kind of nice. The size is pretty good. Um, again, I you can use this up to three to six months. I'm going to err on the side of caution because other websites will say, you know, 30 days. And so this is a good size for that. And let's see how this other one looks. Okay, so this one has much more of a swirl, much nicer. So you can kind of see, one has like a hint, the other one is pretty definite. Okay, the sponge is hard up top, but where the soap wasn't, it's quite soft. So as soon as this hits water, this will soften up up here. This kind of sponge is really good for exfoliation. So I actually really like this. I'm gonna keep one, I'll keep this one, and I will send mom this one. And I think, guys, I really think you'll, you'll like it. So go ahead and get a shot. Um, I think what I might do, and I'm going to make more of these, I'm sold. Um, I might, instead of buying this where they're pre-cut, which, you know, again, it's not a problem. I can stick two in there if they're too small, or just one and just kind of let this harden up and stick it on top. But you, I might actually just buy a big one and cut it up to the size I want. Um, I don't think there was a big change in the price point on that. Um, I'd have to double check. Again, I'll leave a link below. But either way, you know, I think it works quite well. Anyway, I hope you like it and have happy holidays. And this is Anna from Koala Soap. Bye.